Hello and welcome to the show. Robert De Niro repeated calls for Donald Trump to be impeached during an interview with CNN where he referred to the president as a gangster who may be mentally ill. Never one to be shy about his feelings toward Trump, De Niro praised House Democrats' recent decision to open an impeachment inquiry on reliable sources with Brian Stetler on Sunday morning. It has to happen. There's no way around it, the 76-year-old actor said. De Niro said he doesn't think Trump is capable of resigning and that he fears the president would refuse to leave the White House even if Congress votes to impeach him. He'll say it's rigged this or that. De Niro said, this guy has done everything possible, much worse than I ever thought ever. The day after he was elected, I said, give him a chance, you'll never know. He is worse than I ever could have imagined. Pressed by Stetler to specify why he's so anti-Trump, De Niro replied, I don't know. I think he's crazy in a way, part of him is just crazy. Possibly medically too, I'm starting to think, he added. When I saw him out in front of the helicopter, waiting to go somewhere and talking endlessly and sweating, I said, this guy is not even aware of what he's doing. He should at least ask somebody for a handkerchief or something and dry himself off. I mean, where are we? This is a crazy world. What is going on? This guy is crazy. We've got to get him out. Stetler asked De Niro, do you ever look at the president and think he's performing like he's playing an act or something. The actor said he thinks in some ways Trump is performing because before accusing Fox News commentators of doing the same. I can't believe that they would actually buy into this craziness, De Niro said, of these pundits on Fox. This guy should not be president, period. Stetler mentioned that De Niro has come under fire from Fox commentators for his past criticisms of the president, specifically after he declared F Trump during a speech at the Tony Awards in 2018. And De Niro interrupted F him, F him, before apologizing to producers off camera. <laughs> He went on to explain why he continues to share his vitriolic feelings toward the president publicly despite the harsh backlash. We are in a moment in our lives in this country where this guy is like a gangster, De Niro said. He's come along and he's said absurd things, done things, and we say over and over again, this is terrible, we're in a terrible situation. We're in a terrible situation. And this guy just keeps going on and on without being stopped. Stetler also asked De Niro whether he'll be reprising his role as special counsel Robert Mueller on Saturday Night Live, which premiered its new season this weekend. The actor said he's unsure whether he'll be back on the show this fall, but revealed that he'd pitched a new skit for the Mueller character. I suggested to the producers, why don't we do a thing on SNL where I do all the things people would have wished Mueller would have done, should have done, could have done when he was deposed, he said. De Niro didn't say how the producers responded to that idea. The CNN interview was part of De Niro's press tour for his new Netflix film, The Irish Man, starring himself, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesky, and directed by Martin Sorcisi. It came less than a week after House Democrats launched an impeachment inquiry amid allegations that Trump pressured his counterpart in Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden. Thank you.